This past year of school, my sophomore year, I took two semesters of a ceramic class. If you've been here for a while, you might have seen a few short vlogs of my projects and what I was doing in that class. They're all sitting here next to me, and I thought it'd be interesting if I ranked them from basically worst to best, because there's a wide variety of, well, there's a variety here. <laughs> Most of these things have never been on camera before, so let's get started from worst to best, my favorite things I made in ceramics this year. Starting with my absolute least favorite. He's actually in pieces right now. And I made a list of all the things I don't like about this creature, okay? This is one of the last things I made. This is, uh, it's supposed to be a seal. All right, let's just read the list here. First of all, the paint cracked, you can see that. It's worse in the front, but all over this thing. I did make a mess with the hot glue. I tried to fix it in some places, made an absolute mess, and I got super glue on my desk. It'll never come off, so that was fun. And then it gave me a splinter. It did. It's one of these paint chips. I don't like the seal, okay? He actually looks cuter from the back. I don't like the seal. The second worst thing I made in ceramics this year is this giant. It's way too big. It's a takeout container. The project was to make an amplifier. Basically, your phone goes on the top and it's supposed to amplify the sound. Well, clay shrinks. And so in order to make a hole big enough for your phone, you had to make it like, what was it like a quarter inch or a half inch bigger? And I decided there's no way my phone's not gonna fit in this thing. So I made it like, uber big <laughs> means the whole project had to be giant so my favorite thing about this thing is actually the writing on top that's pretty cute okay i did a good job with that but the day that the day uh that i had to paint this thing we were out of brown so the noodles i've been told they look like worms i've been told it looks like brains and it's all very true it doesn't look like noodles but it was the best i could do with the paint that we had that day and let's just say it didn't turn out the greatest okay number three here or actually 13 14 15 so this is the 13th thing these are pendants the one is actually cute the rest i just don't like oh that one's really ugly this is probably the worst one of them all maybe it's rough it's bumpy and i was very limited on the colors i could use so it's not that cute this one let me tell you about this one. This pattern is something I paint very often. It's very cute. I love painting like this. It looked really cute before it was fired. This one, you can't really cover up glaze. Like once you get glaze down here, if you try to put another color over top, it might look like it's covered, but it's not. So it just, it bled and like the colors melted and it's just, it's not cute. This one pendant is what keeps this from being last because I actually do like this one. Moving on, my final project for semester one, our like exam, was an idiom sculpture. An idiom is like, it's not rocket science or like spill the bean. It's kind of like one of those sayings. I chose, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. And this was the bridge that I created but it's actually the second bridge that I created. The first bridge that I made when I went in the kiln, somebody else's project exploded. They either made their clay way too thick or didn't hollow something out. So basically their project exploded and obliterated everything next to it. So my first bridge was actually cuter. This one was rushed. I sculpted or I guess carved all the texture on there. The only thing that keeps this from being lower on the list is the fact that the fishies are really cute. I made the little koi fish under there. And that I like a lot. But the rest of this, it's just flat and it, there's nothing really that special about it. My next thing, we had to make chops, or basically stamps. This one is an inverted stamp. Uh, it's a signature that I use pretty often. But this one, this one's my favorite, okay? It's a little dinosaur. It was all flat and I like drew like a sketch of what I wanted to do and then I carved all the way around it. So this isn't just slapped on the top, this was carved out, okay? And that's why I like this one a lot because I actually think the dinosaur turned out really cute. Now we're getting into some of the better stuff. <gasps> puppy wants to say hi. Hold on, let's get Puppy. What do you think? You see all those projects? Oh, okay. So this is Nigel. He is our foster puppy. Uh, he's been here for a few weeks. Where do we leave off? I think this is the next project. This, my friends, is a coil mug. I do like the way the coils turned out. 
And uh, I think I have a few pictures of me making this, like in the process, so you can kind of see how I built my way up. And so this was the first time I attempted to blend glaze. It didn't work very well. Okay, glaze, it's a tricky thing to work with. It's not seamless. The colors, they're just kind of like melted into each other. I just don't love this project. This is, um, this is a pencil holder at best. This was the very first thing I made in ceramics this year. This is mini food. So I chose breakfast. I have some sausage, eggs, and pancakes. I like it because it almost like looks like a comic breakfast to me. So I actually do like this project. The things coming up next are a lot cooler. It took a lot more time. This is just a little project. This is pretty cute. I like this one a lot. It's an orange juicer. One of those things, you know, you don't put the orange on and that you squeeze all the juice out of it to make like lemonade or orange juice. Uh, that's what this is, but it's a cactus. And so I love the idea. However, again, the glaze that I used for this, it all just kind of like melted off. But I think the shape of this is really cute and I gave it a cute little spout. So I'm actually happy with this project. And it's all functional. Anything with glaze is waterproof. Number eight on our list. It's not ceramic, but the class that I took is called Ceramics and Sculpture. So at this point in the year, this was nearing the end, we were actually out of clay. Typically this project is done in clay, however, we made masking tape shoes. What we did is we taped our, we took our shoes off. We actually taped our under shoe backwards where the sticky side was up. And then we cut it off and then we taped forward. And then we added all the details with other layers of tape. So I actually think this turned out really good. Number seven. During the beginning of the year, we had to make chess pieces. I believe I chose a bishop. I think this is a bishop. It's just a cute little dog. We have therapy dogs at our school, many of them. And my favorite are the golden retrievers. And of course, King Charles. That's Oxford. You'll learn about him in a second. I love this bladder. I just think it's cute and simple. Number six. Number six is actually the only items I don't currently have here. I mentioned Oxford. He is one of the therapy dogs at our school. He's actually owned by the deputy. Since the beginning of the year, I got to help out with him. So if you've seen vlogs, I'm sure you've seen them before. He's a King Charles Cavalier Spaniel. He's actually the same type of uh, dog puppy that just came in here. Uh, is, I love him to death. He's the cutest little thing. So at the end of the year, I really wanted to do something for, uh, for Oxford and for the deputy. I made him a treat jar. And the most important thing to me was that the lid fit on this treat jar, okay? I did not want to give him a jar that the lid didn't fit. So I made sure, and I have evidence, that when I was making the jar, the lid fit, okay? By the end, it did not. The glaze got thicker. I should have made more room. So I, I was so sad. But I couldn't just give them a jar that didn't have no lid. So I hurry up and rush this little water dish which he actually uses and it's really cute. So I also made them that. So those two things go together. I really, really liked it, the lid fit, but they still turned out cute. I'm still happy with them. We've made it to the top five. Here we are. This is my Astro Peter Bowl. I'm actually decently happy with like the size, the shape of the bowl. If you look on the inside, you can see all the different little sea creatures and the coral and the starfish. And I really, really like this project. Again, I had an issue with like the blending. I wish this was kind of seamless to show like the shallow water, the deeper water. If I could do it again, I wouldn't have chose like yellow for the sand. It'd be more accurate if it was like white with like a really, really light tan. But I really, really like this project a lot. Ooh, this next one's really good. We did um, tiles, I think they were called like ba, ba relief tiles. The main thing we were focusing on was like perspective. And so knowing what things should be in the front should be like the biggest and the back, the smallest and like the layers. So you were supposed to do like an actual scene, but she bent the rules for me because I had my heart set on SpongeBob. SpongeBob was my childhood. And this is what I decided to do. So you can see it's very, very dark. The whole thing is blue. And that's because the oxide that I used actually went on like almost see-through. And so I thought, oh my gosh, I have to add a lot more than this. And it went on black. So it was just a complicated scenario. In the end, you paint it all on and then you take a sponge and you sort of wipe it over the surface. That way the crevices and anything deep like this has the most amount of color. And the things up front are lighter. Mine is pretty much all dark, <laughs> which I guess isn't a bad thing because it's supposed to be under the sea anyways. It's not bad. We got better color. Number three, my top three. This project was probably our biggest project. It's a childhood memory box. As a kid, my grandma and I did many crafts. And so while I was at her house, right before making this project, we actually found my handprint. This is my actual handprint from when I was three and a half years old. We found like a little stencil. So I took that with me and then I traced it out of clay. That's really sweet. I really love this as like my actual handprint. This represents like all the crafts that we did as a kid. Next to it, this is my favorite side. 
I've spent many, many, many hours at the park. My grandparents would take me, my mom would take me. The next one is, of course, Disney. Not only Disney World, Disneyland, um, but Disney movies. I grew up as a Disney princess fan. So this just shows my love of Disney and how I grew up uh, watching many of the movies. This one, it's not my favorite side, but it's still a really cool idea. My papa used to take me to, it was an indoor bounce house place. We spent lots of time there. So I wanted to do a side that represented that. My dad would always ask, my dad was old. As a kid, my dad would always ask me, go, how do you know I love you? And I'd say, because you tell me all the time, daddy. And so I just stamped that under the top because it's a nice reminder. And then it opens and it is a box so I can fill it with childhood memories, I guess. It's number two. It might surprise you because they're very small, but they are so cute. Two little cornhole boards, okay? Hear me out. The previous summer, I went to my uncle's house and we decorated cornhole boards together. They were Wonder Woman and Captain America, and I had a blast. They turned out super good, and I decided that when I came home, I wanted to do my own set. I hadn't gotten to do that yet, still haven't. It came time where we had like freedom to pretty much make whatever we wanted. I chose to make cornhole boards and paint them how I would if I got my own set. This is how I would paint them. I know they're small, but they are just so cute and they bring me the most joy. I love these. Last but not least, my number one favorite project from ceramics. Here we go, you ready? Ta-da! This is my little creature, my little monster, and I love her. She's got little ice cream spoons for ears. Of course, she got a little messy and has some ice cream melting on her face. But her little teeth are so cute. This was just the beginning of our little creature here. So basically, we took two pinch pots, put them together, made a giant potato, and then molded that potato into this shape. So I like pinched around here and made it flat. Poke a hole in the bottom to make sure it doesn't explode. And then I added these cute little nubs for feet. And so she looks like she's sitting down. And the rest just came into detail work. I think she's so cute. This is my favorite project. And that is all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I made in ceramics this past year. If you're curious and you want to see more of me working on this project, I have a few shorts on my channel and I have a whole vlog of like my whole day at school. I believe shows me working on graffito bowl and also these cute little tiles. If you want to see anything like that, go ahead and check out my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.